Hello and welcome to Ashford.com. You are watching an interesting video on Neanderthals and modern humans coexisted for thousands of years. Please read this disclaimer carefully. Professor Hyam says recent genetic studies show up to 2% of DNA in today's non-African humans is Neanderthal in origin, suggesting the two groups did interbreed outside Africa. First author Tom Hyam, a professor in Oxford School of Archaeology, and colleagues describe how they compiled the timeline in the journal Nature. One of their most significant findings suggests that modern humans did not rapidly replace Neanderthals, but that our ancestral cousins disappeared at different times across Europe. For the six-year study, Professor Hyam and colleagues used improved methods of radiocarbon dating to analyze about 200 samples of bone, shell and charcoal from 40 important archaeological sites around Europe, ranging from Russia to Spain. The sites were chosen because they either showed signs of Neanderthal toolmaking, which archaeologists describe as Mysterian sites, or because they contained stone tools thought to be from early modern humans or Neanderthals so-called transitional sites. Using mathematical models, the team compared the new radiocarbon data with previous findings from studying rock layers, to piece together the chronology of the findings. The results show that Neanderthals disappeared from Europe between 41,030 and 39,260 years ago, which is long after early modern humans arrived. This means, say the authors, that Neanderthals and early modern humans must have overlapped for a significant period, giving enough time for them to interact and interbreed. However, they point out they were not able to determine exactly where in Europe interbreeding may have occurred, and whether it happened just once or repeatedly. Professor Hyam says recent genetic studies show up to 2% of DNA in today's non-African humans is Neanderthal in origin suggesting the two groups did interbreed outside Africa, and adds. We believe we now have the first robust timeline that sheds new light on some of the key questions around the possible interactions between Neanderthals and modern humans. Neanderthals may have survived in dwindling pockets across Europe. He says the evidence also suggests Neanderthals may have survived in dwindling populations in pockets of Europe before they became extinct, and that contrary to current beliefs, there may have been a more complex picture about which groups influenced the tool the toolmaking industrial period that followed the Mysterian. Professor Hyam says this picture is characterized by a biological and cultural mosaic that lasted for several thousand years. Professor Hyam says previous techniques for obtaining radiocarbon dates may have resulted in underestimates of the age of Neanderthal samples, which could have been contaminated with modern material. We use ultrafiltration methods which purify the extracted collagen from bone, to avoid the risk of modern contamination, he explains, adding that. This means we can say with more confidence that we have finally resolved the timing of the disappearance of our close cousins, the Neanderthals. Of course the Neanderthals are not completely extinct because some of their genes are in most of us today. In January 2014, nature study led by geneticists at Harvard Medical School, suggests ways in which the genetic legacy of the Neanderthals has proven to be both adaptive and maladaptive for modern humans. Notes and References Thank you for watching this interesting video. This channel offers motivational, inspirational, valuable and informative videos to soothe, cleanse and inspire your health, mind, body and spirit. Subscribe this channel, to find lot of interesting videos on wide range of topics here, stay tuned and keep watching.